as you can see, for a long hiatus. Uh, I'm back at the cabin. We're coming down uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it's just to do an inspection of the property. I have a little business to talk about, and I'll mention that when I get to my place. And uh, I also got some new toys I want to make sure that work before I uh, keep them keep them in use. And I'll bring those out at the other building too. Um, we inspected my uh, my father-in-law's place, and uh, other than a dead mouse in the toilet, it's uh, good to go. Um, this building here, shed and snow ice. You can see off to the right, maybe right. In the middle here of the frame is where the snow actually sheds off this roof. Um, it's uh, there's about a foot hard pack on the ground and about four inches of the fluffy stuff. We brought snowshoes down to uh, get back, but we really don't need it. The, the hard pack is not that bad. We had to shovel our way in off the road. That took about half an hour. Um, but the uh, guest cabin is uh, is holding tight. So I am. Uh, we're gonna walk back to my place, check it out, and uh, I'll mention a couple of things. But um, it's a gorgeous day in the winter here, 23 degrees, 22 degrees, I think, and uh, light snow falling. And uh, back in my place was just, uh, we had like an inch, and it was all kind of melting off when the sun hit it. Uh, down here, we're in the snow belt, we're getting a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome for walking in because I'm sitting on top of the snowpack right now. So, I pack this up and we'll go uh, back to my place and see how that's doing. So, uh, over the winter I picked up uh, a couple toys and uh, I don't keep anything loaded that I haven't fired and I haven't had a chance to do any shooting. So, one of the things I was going to do down here is uh, make sure they cycle. Um, I got an XDM 45 and a Glock 30 45. Just shooting a board right out there, about 15, 20 feet. Um, I, gr I got these due to our uh, great governor passing a new law and being not able to buy these in the future, per chance, unless the law is found unconstitutional, which I assume it's going to be. But I didn't want to not have the chance. I wanted a 45. Um, and uh, and here we go. So I am going to uh, set this down, put my ear protection on, and uh, give the camera my final level video. Okay. So here's the XDM 45, first round through. Loaded bag indicator, it's new for me. And uh, here we go. And I loaded this to seven rounds because of our state law. I don't want to break the law. It says I can only have seven rounds in my magazine. I'm going to take the Glock 30 out. Let this cool down before I set it down. Okay. And chamber around. And here we go. Seven rounds on that one too, so no violation of any law going on today. Seven rounds, both function perfectly. Um, I'm not going to carry these for a while. I, I want to make sure that uh, they're good to go, but I wanted to put some rounds down range and uh, make sure everything functions. Um, this one, I, that's actually not bad. When I first got it without any shooting at all, the slide release was really, really tight. And that's not half bad. Um, and I, I have short, stubby fingers, so I tend to have a hard time with mag releases. And with both of these, I can, I can get it, but I have to adjust my grip a tiny bit. Um, hold the slide back on this. And the same on this one. 
This one had a much nicer, it's a bigger slide release, the full size gun, um, but the uh, you know, bigger slide release and mag release I don't have to adjust my grip for at all, it's, it's a little bit more pronounced. And, uh, yeah, I, I like both of them. This one has night sights on it too, which is an option. Um, and due to the uh, cost of ammo, I'm now going to try to find brass in the snow. Because, uh, as everyone knows, ammo is obscenely expensive right now. So I, I want to start reloading 45 and 9mm and everything else, because I can't afford not to. So let me pack this up and uh, go check out my cabin and see how it's doing. Yeah, so I actually brought more mags out, but it's too thinking cold out to do any more shooting. Uh, <laughs> It's like 20 degrees out, and I just wanted to make sure they would cycle nice and cleanly. Um, and between the two boxes, I really got actually everything I needed to in the boxes. Um, and I want to be, do a mention out. Uh, I picked up this bag. Uh, a buddy of mine runs a business. Um, it's survivalgearbags.com. I'll provide a link. And uh, these two fit in there perfect. Um, these are two... Oh, who makes these? They're common. Um... Plano Gander Mountain sells them, they're not expensive at all. But two of those fit nicely in the two compartments on this bag. Um, it makes it not a bad little range bag. You know, put two handgun bags and uh, you can fill the front pocket up with probably six boxes of ammo um, if you could afford to shoot six boxes of ammo right now. Um, and uh, it's a nice bag, it has lots of attachments. Um, Lots of attachment spots uh, and uh, lots of moly attachment points for putting on more things onto it. Um, for the price, it's uh, it's pretty hard to beat. But uh, I wanted to make this do a little shout out to him, and uh, I'll provide a link um, for the for the price. It was a it was a good deal, and uh, yeah, for for handgun shooting, that's not a bad it's not a bad little you know. Usually, take out two handguns with me when I go shooting, and. Uh, I can put two handguns in one case usually, and I can put all the mags in another case. Or if I have two larger handguns, I could put them in two separate cases and just put the mags in the uh, in the pockets on the bag. So now we go walk up to the cabin and see how that fared for the winter. Well, here she is. So I just watered up my batteries. They needed probably about eight ounces of, bat of water. They were just starting to show the tops of the plates, just a little bit, and it's been about two months. Um, I wanted to do that while I was out here. And uh, I'm not sure if this wind is gonna be too noisy on here, but it is what it is. Um, the reason we came down was uh, our property ends right where that little hemlock tree is planted. And we've been interested in uh, this lower field uh, down to where that hedgerow is down below, um, squared off to the next neighbor's property for a while. And uh, unfortunately our neighbor passed away over the winter time. And uh, we came out to talk to somebody about uh, possibly picking up another 40 or so acres, maybe 50. And uh, that's what we came down for. Um, so right now it's just in the planning stages. Um, they're not going to do anything until springtime-ish. But uh, if we can get it, it'll bring us up to around 100 acres. If the price is what we can do. Um, but it would uh, give us two fields um, and part of another field. And then about uh, 30 acres of woods over up over here down below. Um, it's good property for us and it would lock our... Uh, our view in from anyone else encroaching on it. But uh, that was the main reason why we came out. This winter for snow down here hasn't been too bad. I'm gonna walk and uh, it would be a little bit rough here while I'm walking because every once in a while I break through. You can see on my little barn ahead the snow shed. 
And so far, everything is holding tight. We've checked all the buildings out. They're all doing a good job of uh, not succumbing to the, to the rigors and weight that everything is put through down here. I wish we could walk all the way up here. I'm breaking through a lot more in the woods here. And I'm losing finger, feeling in my fingers a little bit. Here you can see the snow shed. And this is the main reason why we built this addition initially was all this snow was sitting against the back of the pole barn. So we did this and then moved the snow away from our main building and hopefully make everything last longer. But you can see it's doing a good job of shedding the snow. And uh, that's only about four feet off the ground. I mean, there's only about a foot of hard pack down right now. And the snowmobilers are out. We can hear them on the hill. because they're, they're smoking up there. Probably can't hear it on the camera, but I can hear them up on the hill above us. They're really cruising. But uh, we want to. We like to come in the winter time, even though we don't stay here because we don't want to get everything thawed out. Just to check how everything is doing. So far, we got one tree down across the trail, and that's about the only damage we see. No, no building damage whatsoever, which is great. We can we can end the season like that. It'd be awesome. Um, should be coming down more. We got new maple syrup this year. So that'll be starting up in another month or so. Um, we're gonna come out next week and tap the trees and, uh, and get started for that. We need to get some buckets ready. But uh, yeah, it's mostly an inspection trip and to talk business and uh, figure out where they were. And hopefully we can find something that's mutually agreeable and gets everyone what they want. Um, it'd be awesome for us if we could open that property up. Um, we already talked to the, one of the guys around here who would be interested in uh, maintaining the fields because we don't want to do that and we don't want to go back into brush. So he would, uh, he would still continue to, to um, lease out the fields and, uh, and get hay off of them because uh, the, all the fields have been converted uh, about five years back now. To, uh, from light brush to, to fields which they were 20 and 30 years ago. So it'd be nice if we can, nice if we can come up with something here. So that'd be my prayers for the next uh, couple months that we can, we can come up with something. But uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while and I owe a couple videos. I said I'd do some reviews of some things and I got, oh, three videos in my head I needed to get done before we come back for the opening of the season. Maybe I'll do a maple syrup video while we're out here. This will be our first year doing it, so people who do it for regularly will probably be comical to see what we're doing. I'm mostly using a new camera. Uh, I got a new SLR and uh, that does uh, HD video, so we'll see how this comes out. But uh, I wanted to do something because I know it's been about a month since I posted, maybe two months. Um, so hopefully I'll get another couple of videos up in the next couple of weeks before the regular videos start up in the spring. But, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. I'm, I'm a happy camper. And if we can get that property, I'll be, a, I'll be happier than anything. That's, that's going to make my day. So, oh, it fell through there. But uh, I'm done back here. I'm going to walk back and check the roof out. we got to shovel some snow off the roof. My father-in-law's place. And uh, then we're going to head back up north. So just an inspection and business trip, really. But wanted to chat. So, and uh, until next time. Thanks for watching.